Hey, what's up, peepsy little meal? Sit down and take a seat. Que lo que siéntate. <laughs> Lawrence and beyond. <laughs> what's going on? Hosting like always, your boy, my Jean Bear. And today we got a special guest. We got Carla. What's good? What's up, guys? Hey, and Carla, yo, introduce yourself a little bit. So my name is Carlota. Um, some of you might know me as Clax or Beauty by Clax. I am a um, Lawrence-based makeup artist. Also, I'm a licensed esthetician, and also I am a certified. Jesus, I came in. Official, just like no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a certified. Oh my God, I can't think about it. <laughs> Assert, I know you're lash, a um, MA licensed esthetician. No, I am a lash artist. That's lash, what I wanted to oh, say. Certified I'm lash artist. And and the esthetician part too, right? That's yeah, all. yeah. So that's that involves like skincare, um, waxing. Okay. Also includes some body treatments, but not not all the way. A lot of people think, oh, you can do massages. No, you cannot. Okay. As an esthetician, you're not allowed to say you're a massage I therapist see. or. Anything you can call it soothing sessions, but so you can't really like label yourself like a um, uh, massage therapist. That's a whole different ballpark. Sounds like there's people out there. <laughs> by, by your turn, it sounds like there's people out there trying what to do a lot. What Dominicans call um, todologos. 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 They do todo. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. Yo, there is a lot of people. I know. Yo hago todo. Yo hago todo. Yo hago todo. Yo hago todo. Ah, tú quieres eso. Yo lo hago. That's hilarious. And Carla, how did you get into it? So, pretty much I was 16. I never, I, I don't do my makeup. I don't wear makeup. People be like, how do you do makeup and you don't wear makeup? So, I was 16. I was more into, like, the artsy. I was more into, like, the contemporary stuff. I was more into um, what they call editorial makeup. A little bit, like, out of the norm. And I started at 16. I started my kit. I would do makeup on my friend. We'll do, like, our little gangster shoes. We'll find an alley and be like, yo, right here, bro. And if not, we'll, like, do it, like, in her house. And then after that, I just kind of, like, got uninspired, threw everything away. Okay. Why? What did you just, like, I, I don't know. I, I just I just got fed up with it. I was just tired. I didn't want to do it anymore. So I threw everything away. Okay. And then, you know, as I got older and, like, with the booming of, like, Instagram and stuff like that, makeup started booming. Yeah. Makeup started booming hard because I remember when I, makeup first started, when I first started doing makeup, it was on YouTube. Everything was on YouTube, like tutorials, anything you didn't learn. Yeah, yeah remember, that was a whole different that world. And yeah, then that made the that transition page. into like Instagram. I'm like, yo, this shit is hot. Like, you got all these people, like what they call now influencers. And oh, yep. So it started booming. I was like, wow. So I got back into it again. And then, you know, we all have that phase where we're a little ratchet. Yeah. I was into my ratchet phase. I didn't want to do nothing. So I moved to Miami out of nowhere. Cause my sister transferred her job, I yes, hated yeah. it. I hated it because I was like, you know what? Maybe Folklore I'll do. Is somebody here. Right, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> I can't do this no more. Like I'm just like out and about, always partying. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Maybe this be a change. I went out there. I fucking hated it. It was even... yo Miami. Oh my god, no. I lived in North Miami. Nah, it was not, not, it's not it, fam. Not, not it, fam. I wasn't a fan. I mean, maybe I didn't give it enough time. Okay. I only stayed for a month. Was it everything too far away from each other or something? It was that, and it was like the environment was just like, yo. It was like, I, it was like you know those memes. Which ones? When you see like, like tracks and like you see like some real ratchet hood shit. Yeah, like that's some, North Miami. I'm like, ah, that yeah. you go to Walmart, bro. That's what's popping out there. <laughs> I swear, Walmart, swear, yo, spin. you, you <laughs> see it all, bro. All you gotta do is take a trip to Walmart. You see it all. And then I was like, yo, I can't do this. I was begging my mom. I was crying. I was crying, crying. And then she's like, oh, I'll buy your flight only if you go back to school. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, damn, don't I really gotta do that. So that's how I got into the whole skincare. And it goes hand in hand, you know, with like like makeup and. I always tell people once you learn ingredients, bro, you can literally just tackle any skincare line. Literally, you read a label, you already got that. Word. So, mm -hmm. like, on top of the um, being a makeup artist, so you make your own makeup as well? Or? No, 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 no. Okay. That's that's a whole other science. Oh, okay. That's like you need to go to a lab. After you get a lab, you gotta um, 
make your formula. After you make your formula, you patent it. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money. So so you you really go into the study of whatever products out there now. What's right. Best for you. What company? Right, right. I I literally bounce around from products depending on the finish, depending on the and um, Durans and depending on like my thing is mostly the finish. Like I'm I like more of like that wet look. Yeah. Oh, like you yeah, see when yeah, the yeah, when yeah. the girls go all ham with highlight, yeah. that's what that wet look is. Yeah, guys go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. What, how many guys like that? I mean, like I don't like it on me, but I like looking at it. You know what For I mean? Real? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, never heard hot. a guy say like, "Yo, I like that highlight." Now that highlights, I like that look. I don't even know what, what you know what the name it's of called. It Dewey, is. Dewey, Dewey, Dewey look. Like I always call it. Oh, I like that oily look. You know that oily look. Like, like mm, you are looking kind of greasy. You look you hot. Look greasy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> looking yeah, like a damn chicken wing. Christina Aguilera, now. Nah, yo. <laughs> but um, so what would you recommend the best um? Let's say if I still wanted to wear makeup, but I'm mm -hmm. breaking out. What do I do? What's the best thing? Because I've heard if you apply too much or wear the wrong things when you're breaking out and try to beat your face, it might be worse for it. Um, I mean, there's no such thing as avoiding parabens. Okay. That's in every poly, in, mostly in every cosmetic. And what's that? Um, a paraben is pretty much as a preservative. Okay. So depending on the shelf life of the product, it has a certain preservative to preserve it. Okay. Um, definitely mineral. If you're acneic, definitely mineral. But again, a lot of girls like that cake on. My thing will be, you know, try and see what are you using as far as skincare so we can prevent and control the breaking out that you can also wear, um, your makeup. But also, you know, instead of a foundation, we'll switch you over to, you know, a tinted moisturizer or we'll switch you over to a foundation and just dilute it with like your moisturizer. And you and you work with people? Oh, um, absolutely. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Cool. You got to beforehand before even you touch anybody's face, I f you need to identify what kind of skin type they have. Oh, it's Because not that's going to determine how long that makeup is going to stay on, yeah. what products you need to use, and also what photo friendly products you want to use. You can tell just by touching the skin, or by looking Sometimes at it, what you... I'll do, I'll tone you. Yeah. So I'll strip all the oil off your face. And I see what's going on, and also depending on your pore size. Oh, so what that wow, is is cool. like when you see somebody, okay, you have a little more activity here. You'll know. You ever seen people like they look extra holy, like, like yeah, yeah, like like you can see the pores a little bit more. It almost looks like an orange peel. Yes, yes. It almost yes. that's that's what it means. That means that that part of your face is oily. Oh, so shit. what I do is you know you can customize how you prime, how you use your products. Because if you're a combination, what that means is like you have one thing going on in your T-zone and then you have another thing going on in your on the side of your face. So you can um, pretty much just customize for whatever you want. Just target each area differently. Yeah, I, I, I see you go hard on the cheeks. Like make making, you know, bringing out people's cheeks with that. Cheeks, you, you pop yep, up. Yep, 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 yep. Like, Let's go. I know. We got to <laughs> we gotta carve them cheekbones out, you know? Shit. So we can make that highlight pop. And, um... Uh, uh, have you ever been? Well, I mean, not even if you've been. Of course, you have. But what would be your most challenging recent like project? You think that I'm like, oh my god, like I did it. Was, it like it was an event. It was something you were, obviously you were probably honored to do. But what was the hardest? Like, what do you mean, like an like an event or like, like a makeup hardest, or like a look? Yeah. What was the hardest face you beat? That it was a little challenge. Like it was just a lot because of something for some reason. All of them are all special and all of them are all a lot. Like I would. I don't, I don't know. I really sometimes I really do struggle with um. Like editorial stuff, I see. like the not your usual glam stuff. Okay. Um, just because the reason is like obviously products that you use and obviously all faces are all different. I think I did this Halloween look that I was just like, yo, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I was like, yo, I didn't believe in myself. I was like, you know what, we're gonna make that happen. But it was the person who wanted the look. They were just so comfortable with me, and they made me feel so comfortable that I was just like, "Yo, we're gonna beat this shit. Yeah, we we're gonna go. beat, we're gonna that. beat this yeah, to the gods." Yeah. And like, it actually, it was actually one my poison ivy look. Oh. Yeah, that was like, I was like, "Yo," I just pretty much dive in. I I dived in. I was like, "Yo, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it happen." Yeah. I was like. How did you get the materials for all that stuff? I don't even, I don't even care That about person that. actually got me a bunch of stuff, and I was like, wow, that's lit. That's and awesome. then I just pretty much, like, incorporated whatever I had. And I was like, you want some lashes? Because we need some lashes up in this. Like, what? <laughs> lashes do make a difference. When people say, oh, no, I don't need that. My lashes are long. N no such thing. No such thing, bro. Absolutely not. We're lashing you out. I mean, it's, it's 
everything else is so much, you, you're going to have a little fuss, a little, little, you know, well, you know, that, little like. Well, that's the thing. Even with, like, the most natural looks, you need a little bit of lash. Because what that does, what that does, what that does hey. is um, <laughs> it definitely opens up your eyes. Like, it definitely excess. Have you ever seen, okay, I don't know how to make, make you understand. But you ever seen somebody, like, a, somebody with no lashes and then somebody with lashes yeah. on? Yeah. The, it, like it extends their eyes, it makes them look more wide awake. More wide awake. Yeah. More, more glam. They could do this. You actually see them blinking. You can notice them blinking. Like, oh, you blinking. You blink. You're breathing and blinking, right? <laughs> you're breathing and blinking. I can notice it. Just making sure you're alive. Yeah. No, but definitely, like any look is not complete without um, without lashes. Like when people are like, oh, I don't want lashes. I'm like, are you sure? Are you positive? And I throw them on just so they can see the difference. And sometimes they'll just like. Why do you take that off, ladies? Like, oh my god! Like, yo, I see that. I'm like, yo, I, I cringe. I'm like, oh my god, you're on. You're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> die. It's like, yeah, yeah, most. Don't worry. <laughs> no, honestly, don't ever rip them. Don't rip them off. Put, throw a little that? water. Throw a little water on them. Some little warm water. Okay. Work your weight and then just peel them off. One thing I always see people do: don't ever use <laughs> hair glue. Man, don't ever use hair glue. Right. I've seen a lot of girls use hair glue. A lot of disasters will be happening. Well, one, you'll be bald from your own lashes. <laughs> Two, that's a toxic product that does not belong in your eyes. And then third of all, it's like, it's not very hygienic to wear lashes for more than one day, especially if they're falsies. Oh, okay. Right. Like, if you want lashes to last, go get some damn extensions. Don't... Just like no. Just have them on. Yeah, them on just don't shit. because it's not sanitary. Because you're not cleansing. You're not getting That's in true. there. And we do have little bugs in our eyes. I mean, yeah. I wonder why. Why do do we get the, the things? Yeah, we have little bugs, yeah. and they're like the little workers that clean up after any debris, any. Anything pretty much that's in the Contaminous. atmosphere, right? Yeah. Right. Any contamination. That's what saves our eyes because obviously we need something to protect the inner of our eyes. So we have little bugs that. Those are the ones that take care of the cleaning and stuff like that. So also, you don't want to catch any lice on there. Yeah. You can get lice on your lashes, ladies. Yo, like that's a real lice, thing. Lice on your lashes, Jesus. Yep, Christ. you got little bugs crawling on your eye. You can definitely get lice. Sheesh. I don't know why I thought about the vet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what would be products? I mean, I, I don't want to put down nobody's product line or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But what would be some products that you, you would you say, hey, I know this looks like it's the norm, but makeup has evolved in the way that you should avoid these toxic products. Something that you think it might be common that is actually damaging right now. Do you know of any? Like, oh, like, oh mm -hmm. ladies, you always use this mask, but, you know, X, Y, and Z, my personal opinion, boom. I mean, I'm, I can't pinpoint a specific product, but always, always look for alcohol. Okay. Always look for alcohol so because alcohol yeah, oh, it will dry you, it will break your skin because what it does, it will dry you out so bad that it's gonna tear down your barrier. Because we all have that, we all have that barrier on our skin. Because our skin is the largest organ, so once you tear that down, it's like hello, contamination, any um, pollution, you're gonna break out for sure. Yeah, yeah. and then you're gonna be hella sensitive too on top yeah, of that. that you know, it's interesting because even with face moisturizer, they told me the same thing. It's like, Brian, just look if there's alcohol in it. Yeah. And then when I look at it, no one, this thing I put in my face and it's gone. Right. <laughs> oh, sometimes like it, it, you feel it after a while, if you keep using it, it'll sting. Yes, a little. You feel the dryness. like. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I remember one product because I used to use it when I was younger, obviously when I didn't know. Um, you remember those Stratex pads, those alcohol pads? Yeah, you will be shiny you know. as a hell, but you'll be shiny as hell because it's stripping everything off your face. Yeah. And then you think it'll make it's making it better, but it was actually doing was just breaking you yeah, out. Yeah, we're just straight mm -hmm. stripping you. Once, once um, a dermatologist told me the little process, like Brian, you could do that, but you have to add moisturizer. Right, right, right. Once you went, I always tell people because another thing is right now that's popping is everybody's exfoliating, and one thing that's very common is over exfoliation. Like too much. So what that is like, you're either using a scrub way too much, you're oh, using a scrub okay. every day, or you're using what's really popular now is acids. What's acid? So acids are like glycolic acid, um, salicylic acid. There's a lot of things that are over the counter now, which is pretty insane. But what do you do with insane. those acids? Like, do you, do you oh, you like put them, it's a peel. You put oh, them on your face. Okay, 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 you put them okay, on, your pa okay. on your face. Some of them you leave on. Some of them you leave on for a few. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are just abusing them. So what ends up happening is that like you're tearing up your skin, but then you're not... 
And then you throw a clay mask on top of that. Anything that's clay, anything that's, um, you know. Like, like cement. <laughs> you know I mean? Don't throw some out on your face. Don't listen to Brian. But anything that's like um, like that consistency, almost like anything that's drying, like a drying mask, that you throw it right on top after an acid, you're over drying the shit out of your face. So it's just like people are just OD and just yeah. Of the so when you take so exfoliating when you take away, meaning you're accelerating cell turnover, you're taking away that skin. You always have to think about like you gotta supplement that skin. Anything with vitamins like. For instance, people with oily skin are like, oh, I don't put any moisturizer because I'm already oily. You need to moisturize if you're oily. It doesn't matter. You just need to use a certain particular um, moisturizer that's going to even out your oils yeah. because there's a difference between creams and, and gel-based moisturizers. Okay. So that's what you need to be careful of because I hear a lot of people, oh, no, I use ponds, and I'm like, oh, my God. It is like a gel. No, usually ponds is like a very thick, heavy cream. I see. So sometimes that can contribute to your oil or you just not. You just got to be careful with what you use. You yeah. have to definitely learn, especially and oily skin. It's yeah. very tricky. Yeah, um, I, I feel like I have oily skin. But then I, when I beat, you know, when I can beat my face, when I freaking, um, when I take all the oils out. Is this what you do indoors? Yes. Yeah, nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. <laughs> you know, I'm a, you know, but. He's like, does this match my neck? <laughs> you think this color complements my smile? Yeah, you know, it's like, come on, guys. You know, whatever. I mean, I've been asked. I've, I've done makeup on guys before. I what had, I'm not going to disclose the name, but I had a DJ once. And I put makeup on him. I mean, a little touches. You for, can a little no, touch he a had bit. he had like a shoe for like his turntable thing, and I was yeah. like, it's good. You can definitely put makeup on because oh. you want to look good on camera. You want to look even toned. In the you future, wanna... yeah, God, I, I'm hiring you. You're yeah, all those guys on TV, <laughs> all those guys on TV get touch ups. Like, true. oh, real men don't wear makeup. Um, they be uh, powdered down. Yeah, come on, yeah, you gotta come on. Absolutely, it's it's better. To, it's better like it's better if you could look better. You know, like. Why not? It looks makeup on TV looks way better. Oh, absolutely. So it's like oh, lighting, lighting does everything. Lighting does everything too. Mm -hmm. But have you ever seen like somebody that you're used to seeing on TV? They look great. Then we see them off TV, and like oh my god, you don't have makeup. That's how you really look like. Like you, 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 you mm -hmm. got you know they were so on point for so many years and stuff I like that. I think there was one time I seen I met Amelia Vega one time. Yo, she is, yo, that nice. that woman is fire, yo. Like she, but she has so much makeup on. It was like, wow, she's so beautiful. Like, she didn't need it. Uh, like, the makeup took away from her. It was the weirdest thing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, some people do look good with, without it. And some people look... Uh, everybody looks good without makeup, regardless. If you believe that you need makeup to look good, it's... No. Because what is makeup is supposed to do is supposed to add to your natural features. It's not supposed to make you into a new person. I see. Right. Yeah, because I, 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 that's what Instagram's selling right now. Oh, you can look like a whole different yeah. bitch. Like, no. We'll take care of your insecurities. Your insecurities right, you're right. Secure, don't worry. <laughs> I just use no. those all the time. Right, right. <laughs> and it's sad to me. Like, sometimes, like, when people be like, oh, I can't leave my house if I don't have concealer. Or I can leave my house if I don't have foundation on. Yeah. It's like, sis, embrace it. And if you have bad skin, then let's do something about it, you yeah. know? And, and the thing is, you'll be probably the best person to hear this from. You know, right, like a, right. A licensed, right. and she's telling you, hey, you, hey, you could use a little bit. You don't need that much. Right, you know, right. Advice and stuff like that. Like, right, like legit. don't listen, don't listen to these gurus that be telling you all these Only things. Because they look good and they blew no, up. No, they're not. They're not <laughs> professionals. Sorry. They're not professionals. That's another thing. It's like, yo, I see a lot of people go on like YouTube and look up these things and see what they use and then try to do it at home. It's like, one, you're not the same skin type. This recommendation is not fit for you. Yeah. It might work. But, again, you're listening to somebody talk that has experience with their own skin. So they're not a professional. Like, when I see people, like, making, like, their own home stuff, I'm just like, yo, once you add vinegar to anything, you're messing with pH. Yo, once you true. Once you mess yeah, with a pH true. and you apply it on your skin, our skin is acidic, so anything that you do to alter the pH, you're going to have a reaction to it. So either you stimulate something or maybe you harm yourself or maybe you burn yourself. Like I seen a video of this. I don't know if she was an influencer or anything. She bought a peel on Amazon. And she was like, oh, look. And she was like. No, not oh, that one. No, no, that was I reposted it on Twitter and she's like, literally, she toned her face with acetone. That's normal. Mm -hmm. That's normal. Acetone. You acetone. No, that. that's wow. normal if you're getting like a medical grade peel. 
Because okay. it strips everything. Okay. At home, no, I wouldn't recommend it. You need to have a professional do it because a professional knows if anything goes wrong, they know how to. And the timing. Right. So she's over here, like she bought like this peel on, on like Amazon. She's like literally takes a cotton swab, uh, not a cotton swab, but like a cotton um, ball. She applies it and then she's literally rubbing. And then you can see her skin is getting red and inflamed. You can see her skin lifting. And like, yo, and I'm just like, oh my God. And she's telling people, oh my God, this is great. Like my face is peeling. This is just a normal process. The redness will go down. And a peel usually. Um, she just had like her meat. <laughs> yo, she had literally like her skin was live. Her skin was live. And like, she's like, oh my God, this is so great. Oh my God, look at my skin. It's so, it's getting so flawless. And like she puts like the, um, the, the days in which she does it yeah. and that she's, quote unquote healing she's li she literally scabbed herself one that's scarring and then she's over here like by the seventh day sh she's still red by the seventh day i never seen a peel do that so and then by the end she's like oh by like day 10 or something like that like, i think like not even that she puts makeup on she's like look i'm flawless like just be like put just like that rug. so how do you <laughs> how do you sell that to somebody on youtube like oh my god this is great you can definitely buy a peel on amazon and just put it in your face like absolutely not how many days after a peel so usually so seven days. seven days so you're right now i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but i did a peel um six days ago i'm still flaking so the misconception about peels is like you that you peel you don't necessarily peel with a peel what it does, it goes right underneath the skin. Again, it's the largest organ. So we have yeah. layers. Yes. So that's working underneath that layer. So either you break out, you either get flaky, or you either um, you just dry up. Yeah. The reason for that is because, again, once you take away, when you exfoliate, you want to add. So that's when you switch over to something more hydrating, something more antioxidant. So while your skin is going through that process, like you're shedding that skin, inside pretty not inside but when you're sh shedding that skin right on top of the surface you're supplementing it okay yeah and so you you like most peels and things like that it's um what like a six-day process not all not it all? depends on the grade okay yeah there's medical peels there's mid-grade peels there's very light peels um it all depends what what kind of percentage and what kind of peel you're working with and i don't know if this is like a difference or like a crutch for it but um it, it shut off the phone? No, some of the things called me. Oh, it's probably... Continue. Continue is all good. <laughs> it's all good. But um, I wanted to say, I don't know if this was the same thing. I was like, why do a peel if people are putting vegetables in their face then taking it off? Like, you know, all the cream. What do you mean, vegetables? Like, you know, cucumbers What are you here. watching? No, I'm, I'm, and I, I, that was just, that was the most ignorant way of me, like, saying it. I no, that's fine, funny. that's fine, that's fine. I was fine. trying to be funny. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean, vegetables? What are you talking about? As in, like, the cucumbers here, then it looks like they mixed in a whole bunch of ingredients in a blender, and it's green and goo, and then just put it in their face. Oh, that's like if you're making, like, an at-home mask. That's oh, fine. Okay. Doesn't that feel, doesn't that, isn't that better, per se, or do you say? I mean, it, it all depends if you're into that organic stuff. Oh, okay. That's just all a preference. I thought that somebody would do the peel, then do that, and add all that stuff in their face and stuff. Like. Um, no, I mean, if you do stuff at home, that's totally cool. Like, if you're into, like, the whole organic thing. Okay. Yeah. But, again, if you're adding anything that's going to alter a pH to anything, you just got to be super careful. Okay. Because you can do real damage. Word. Mm -hmm. And, um, what's your favorite palette in makeup? Like, what are your colors? What's your, your personal palette? Like, uh, I'm just... I'm type. very neutral. Colors. I'm very neutral. Like I like bronzy. I'm very neutral. Right now, oh my god, I bounce off from so many palettes. I don't even pay attention to the names. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I just go. Like literally, when I'm working, I just like go. This whatever. It right, is, right. Like exactly. either people show me a picture, I try to recreate it. Or if not, when people give me like creative license, I just pretty much go with. You know, I ask questions like, "Do you wear makeup?" Because that's one of the first things I need. I analyze about people. Because then they see these pictures and they look wonderful in picture, but then they don't wear makeup and you throw it on themselves. It's like, oh, that's too different. much. That's too much. So yeah. I always ask um, if you wear makeup. But right now, I think my primary palette right now is the Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill. I don't know which one it is, though. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the big one. If you know what I'm talking about, it's the big one, has matte colors. Yeah. But usually I like already hit pan on like all the neutrals. Mm -hmm. And um, when it comes to like, 
funny when it comes to like um I saw that you opened a new place. Like like you, you finally you Yay. took the, you took your first foot and you didn't know, I know. I put your foot down like this is what I'm gonna do. I was like I had to man, I had to. I've been doing this for too long. It, for too long and I was working from home and you know, it has its pros and cons. Yeah. You know, but I'm I'm definitely much happier. Like, I get home. My house is a mess right now because everything is, like, turned around upside down. Yeah. But you know what? I come home to my mess and I love it. Yeah. Because you, 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 I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Yeah, you're just coming home, relax. Right, right, right. I, I only worry about, okay, my my workspace is neat. My work my workspace is clean. Whatever. That's. My house, I just sleep there. Oh, I, I just sleep there. <laughs> just sleep there. Yep, yep. And um, with that environment, I, I was just daydreaming um, like a, a little bit before you came over here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, imagine like Carla just does this like barbershop vibe but with shorties and just like a whole bunch of people putting makeup and shit. I just, would like, love yeah, that. Like a bar, bar, like a beauty bar. Yeah. Yep, just yep, like yep, that. yep. Shorties are just there saying like if it's a barber, sound no cheese man going left and right. right. Honestly, you know I mean? feel like it needs to be like more of like a... I guess union between like skincare and like barbers, yo. Because I get hype when I when I walk into a barbershop and I see uh, a steam machine. Yo. I get hype. I get hype. I'm like, yo, they got the towel yeah, steamer. They, yo, they got the mask. Too, I was thinking because I was talking to somebody about this, and I want I want to offer more things for men. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I feel like men should cater themselves. Men should take care of their skin. Like I was thinking of like, yo, when you go to the barber, a lot of barbers don't don't take the right measures, especially when it comes to, like, skin. Like shedding your skin. Right, or, like, I always ask when I do a male facial, I'm like, what way, which way does your barber shave you? Oh, because the way man. they shave you, would deter- like, you can get a lot of ingrowns by, just by the way they, they shave you. It's true. Right, because if they shave you up and they go against the hair, you're most likely going to get an ingrown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then I, I want to offer, like, more wax and stuff for men. Like, I don't know if you've seen, um, they're shaping the beards, and they put, like, a hard wax. Yeah. Black tar-looking stuff. Yeah, and then, like, you rip it off mm-hmm. just to kind of, um... Give it, like, a, like, almost like getting a box It's more like, out, like a, it, it's like more a like a, it's cleaner. It's, it's yeah. cleaner. It's pulling the hair out from a root versus, like, when you get it with the blade, you know, the next day you already have the prickles, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah so I was thinking of doing that. I was thinking of, like, maybe get a few, like, variations of, like, beard oils. Nobody for men, yeah, <laughs> some some beard oils. I'm still trying to, cause there's a thing right now. It's it's called male grooming. Mm-hmm. Like men do their do their yeah. brows. Sometimes they wear a little bit of makeup, like a sheer tinted moisturizer. I, I'm I'm a big fan of like cool ass moisturizer. Who knows if guys have had something on it? But <laughs> right, I'm a right. Fan of moisturizer. But yeah, you can like literally you can make your own. Like if you buy like a little tinted moisturizer, just to add like a little glow to it, like yeah. a little sparkle, and nobody will know. Nobody will know. Yo, I'm about to look flawless. Yo. He about to get his highlight on, yo. Let's go. He about to throw a little bit, like, sprinkle some highlight in his yeah. moisturizer just so he can glow. Bring it, um, and Carla, where's, um, where's the location for this? So, phone? I got a studio space right there on 50 Island Street. 50 Island um, Street. It's Studio 2. I actually posted today I'm going to have a little opening. Oh, shit. On Let's the go. 22nd. Let's go. Yeah, so I'll be having that. I also have a friend that she's coming. She has her own business. She has a, a mirror business. She has this touchscreen mirror. Bro. I have no mirrors. I need a mirror, too. So. <laughs> Do you remember at the party? Yes. At Wagner's baby shower? Yes. I think that's the same place. Oh, yep. That's her. Oh, that's I her. Know yeah. Know, know yeah, you touch it. You send it to your email. And then yeah. she does, like, the backdrop. She does, like, the thing. She's going to be there. Okay, She's cool, definitely cool. going to be there, yeah. so you guys should definitely come through. Hell yeah, I'm going right. to have some food. The 22nd We're gonna... of December, right? December, absolutely. It's a Sunday. And give them the name of the location. 50 Island Street, 50 Studio Island Street. 2. Studio 2. Where? Yeah. I mean, hopefully I don't have way too many people. I'm over here, like, got the I fire mean, department knocking thing. on me. Yeah, yeah, be like, yo, you're over capacity. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take care of it, bad. No hookah, though, no hookah. <laughs> We're no not going to have no hookah. What no. about electronic hookah? Only the, only the cuddies are going to bring that trying out. To like, smoke up <laughs> you know, the people that I don't know. I think mean, are you trying to contaminate my my place? Yeah. No. I'm not a hookah guy. Just saying. I don't I do not do hookah. And this is dope. And so it's December 22nd. Yep. It's going to be soon. But it, it, is a, it is the opening thing, right? It's like a small, like, I mean, I'm not like a, uh, what do you say? Um, 
Oh my god, what is this call? Yo, my mind is so out of train right now. Yo, we're just it's fatigued. We we we, we just we just keep on going and working. You it's know? not a store. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's not a storefront. It's not a storefront. Okay. Like you know, when you see like oh, grand opening or something, it's not yeah, a storefront. Like I just want to have like um, you know, like a little celebration yeah, as to love is like, hey, you right, know. right, because like yo, I when I started, I was literally like my kid. If I have pictures of my kid, actually. My kit was just like this little compact, like caboodle thing. And like, I used to travel to people's houses. Yo, if you throw me a picture, I'll throw out the episode. Yo, I, I have pictures of my old work and people like, I always tell people that, that are into makeup and they want to do, you know, they want to service other people and they want to grow as an artist. I'm like, yo, don't give up. Like, don't give up because it does get hard. Yeah, and you get into a space where like you're, I guess, you know, artistically, you're kind of stuck. Where it comes like where you get uninspired or it happens to everybody. Right. And like the beauty business is so saturated that it's like a lot of people are in it just to make a quick buck. You know what I'm saying? So it's kinda of hard to differentiate like a artist that really has a passion for it versus somebody that's like, Hey, this was booming, so let me it's it's like every pretty much every career. Like remember when everybody was a photographer? <laughs> like they bought a cannon and they're like, Oh, remember or everybody was a DJ. Yeah. At one point in their life, <laughs> or like at one point, everyone was, was from New York. Caster. Yo, <laughs> you're trying to stir some bullshit. Hey, I'm just a guy that likes laughs. <laughs> but yeah, like it's like it's so saturated because again, Instagram. Yeah. Everybody's trying to be an influencer. Everybody's um, what is that thing? I be- how do you make it as an influencer? Like what? Is I, that? Have like, no yo, what I have no idea. I have no idea. Have you ever seen those profiles that is like public figure? Yeah. Public figure DM for bookings. I'm yeah. like, so what, do, like, you what do, do you do? Dude? Your vibe? What do you do? I pay for your vibe. <laughs> hey, but like, not to knock anybody's hustle, but if you're making your money off of that, hey, it go for be, it. Yeah. But again, like the beauty industry is just so damn saturated. Like sure. it's just like, and the best advice I can give somebody is like, yo. Go get educated, whether it is sanitation, whether it's... Shout out to mom, because you came back from Florida. Yo. Be, 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 it's yo, funny. Shout out to mom, dog. It's like, funny it's because I used to do hair, too. Work? Yeah, because my mom is a hairdresser. Oh, snap. So I used to work with her. So a little bit of what I know about the industry, obviously, I got from her. Like, the do's and don'ts. Okay. Like, you know, every girl knows, like, when you pull up to a salon here, you're there for hours. I don't work like I don't work like that. I only do appointments. It's like time boom. As soon as right, you come in, we right, break and you don't have to right. Wait because here, the know? thing is that that time is for you. Work. That time is for you. And another thing is that like this ha- this is something I just have to throw out there because um, I understand we're Spanish. Yeah. We work on the Dominican time, right. but I don't work on the Dominican time. Yeah. So I usually give people like you know like a fifteen minute window to get to their appointment because again that's your appointment that's your time. So when you're late to your time, you wasted your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've gotten, you know, people are upset at me because I have that kind of as a rule. Yeah. But yet again, this this, this time is for you. Yeah. It's for you. It's not, it's not, you know, I don't think it's fair for somebody else to get their appointment delayed because of that. You, you don't pull that down on your doctor. Your doctor would be like, well, you need to reschedule. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when it comes to like things like that, I feel like people don't have that quiet etiquette. You know, respecting a lot of people's time, but I just had to throw it out there because yeah, you should, you should, you're, you're, I, not, you're in the right. You're I the had, right. I had somebody actually like, you know, make fun of me because I have that rule, and she was like, "Oh, you do this from your house, ha ha ha," like. Yeah, I was about to say something. I mean, right the, now. no, like she, like, she, <laughs> she literally made fun of me. I was like, "Oh, you do this like," I'll, and I quote, "You literally do this out of your crib." So? And I was just like, wow, like, it made me feel like, wow, like, it's a joke. Yeah, like, this is a joke to you. Like, yeah, this is a, yeah. but whatever, like, I'm not going to let that knock me. But yeah. it just really upset me because I was like, yo, like, this is, this time is for you. It's not for me. You know what I'm saying? And I told her, like, okay, well, you can still come, but we would just have to cut your time. She's like, oh, why do I have to pay in full if you're cutting my time? I'm not cutting your time. You she cut your own went time. To a business before her life? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I just had to throw it out there because I was like, wow. And like she actually and she actually threatened me. And I was like. Right, for me? Take care of me? Right, right. But, <laughs> like, Whoa, like, but I was just like, you know what? I understand people are different. Yeah. 
a lot of people are not accustomed to certain things. So you're gonna have customers customers like that too. It's oh, expected. absolutely. It's oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. And, and, and this is not a flood of yeah. Them. And like usually, <laughs> like when I when I get girls that are starting out the business and like they ask me for like advice or anything like that, I'm like, listen, not every client is your client. Not every client is your client. Not not everyone's gonna love you. Not everyone's gonna love your work. But that that shouldn't knock you. That no. should not knock you because you know what? The people that do love you need like not that they need you, but they appreciate you and they appreciate your work. So just by you like, you know, delivering them to a service or, or doing something to them, like a lot of people do appreciate that. Like I've had people cry before. I had a lot of people cry. I had, um, there was this one girl in particular, um, it was her prom. And, you know, she yeah, was just, yeah, yeah and she moment. was like, oh, I never done my makeup. You know, I want something simple, blah, blah, blah. She was, you know, a girl that she was really into her studies. Like, she was going to this dope-ass school because she was just a super smart girl. But, you know, she just wasn't, like. I guess you ha you could say she hasn't had her glowed up moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was a beautiful girl. And I slapped some makeup on her, and she literally, like, oh, my God. She's never felt that beautiful in her life. Dude, I cried. Me and her cried <laughs> like, together because I was like, yo, like, I, I never. Makeup. You just, right, I'm like, catch him, sis, catch him. But I was like, yo, like, I never, like, you never know what kind of impact you, you have on people yeah. until you see it. Sheesh. Until you see it, and that for me was like a breakthrough moment i was like wow like this is not just like a lot of people think oh makeup is just you know an ego boost or like you're just trying to hide um insecurities. right insecurities but for some people it is not it is not and and you know for me that was a moment where i, where I took that and i was like yo like for that moment in her That's life, for that moment in her life she's not gonna forget yeah you know what i'm saying so like that to me was priceless yeah, and I and I feel it. I feel it from yo. you. Like you held back your tears right now, just thinking about it. Yo. Like yo, you guys, you guys got water each other. Like oh fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> and like for yo, thanks for coming. You know, before I even before we even close it out, okay. there's something very important that you do that I've, uh, that people that might be interested in. Um, your lessons. Like what, what are the timings? Like, do you just book it? Like your appointments? So it it all depends when you're looking. I mean, my schedule is pretty crazy. So definitely. Everything must be booked in advance. Yeah. I am working on online banking. Just praying, praying that it, you know, nothing clashes or nothing like delays or anything like that. I'm working really hard on that. Just so people can do it on their own yeah. online. But yeah, with the lessons, um, so I do one-on-one. -on -one. I, do, I don't do pro artistry, which is like I don't teach other artists. Okay. Um, I teach more of like the everyday woman that wants to learn how to apply. And hand to enhance their natural features. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's that's mostly what I teach right now. I mean, I would love to branch out and like teach artistry, artistry classes, but that's something that like maybe down the road I'll probably look okay. into it because it's a lot of time consuming. Wow, yeah. it's everything time. Everything is time. Like I'm that I'm a mom for some that don't know, and I'm always like flying left and right. Yeah. Like, you know, managing my clients, answering the people, taking care of my child, you know, producing for that child. And, you know, just making time just to unwind yeah. because Christmas time has kicked my ass for How sure. How you get like this? Like, you're independent, mother, having your business. I don't know. Great. I don't you're, know. You're the you know, sometimes. I'm like, I feel like, like oh, my God. I mean, God. I had my rebel this morning, you know? <laughs> you had your fucking rebel, huh? <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just like, yo, sometimes I lay I'm like, yo, how do I do it, bro? I literally lay there and I'm just like, bro. Like literally before coming here, I was just like, <laughs> you saw I was like, yo, I'm wa I'm washing some towels. Yo, I was literally at the laundry room and I was like, ¿Cuándo te vas a secar? When are we leaving? And I was just like, I literally I felt so bad because like obviously I want to get out of there fast. Yeah. So I took I took up like for a little bit of like laundry. I took up like three dryers. Yeah, like, boom, boom, yep, I was like, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. Mama gotta go. We got yeah, things to do, up. right? Got motivation to right, that, right. Man, man I'd be, I be like driving and I can just like, sometimes I'm just like, fuck. And like, it's weird to me, but I don't know if you're like this. Like, people that are busy know that. Like, even two minutes of your life makes a difference. It really does. Like, even just like, yo, I got two minutes to get there. You, That two minutes is like Crucial. the ill window. Like, it's the ill window to like, whoosh, just jump through a hoop. Yeah. yeah and that really two true. minutes will save your life. It's true. Like, I, I'm... 
even even when you have to apply that with traffic that's another factor Dude. that you, somehow you got the traffic flow in your head to gauge it the just the traffic in Lawrence I don't know if it has something to do with the rent that nobody lives on their own anymore and everybody has a vehicle everybody gotta get to work but the traffic is insane so definitely I'm the type of I'm the worst Dominican I'm always either early or on time to things yeah same I'm, I'm either if I'm if I'm late it probably, it's like uh, reaching like five minutes yeah. I'm either early or late I'm never in the middle like <laughs> you one of those <laughs> but like usually well i used to be one of those i used to be late but usually i'm either like i'm very there on like on time mm -hmm. like early usually early or something happened and i'm late no when something know? is when something's out of my control like i understand it yeah. and i'm very understanding with like let's say like if i have an appointment and they can't see me i'm not gonna get mad yeah. because i'm you know the universe wasn't working no, wasn't with working me ever. today so it was like yeah. whatever you know what, what kept me more on point? Taking less on my plate. Like, I thought I had all this food oh, on my plate. And yeah, I'm like, damn, yeah. I keep coming late down. Keep... I'm like, yo, I don't want to disappoint people no more. Let me just, I don't have to eat this meat. <laughs> I don't have to eat this. Right, right. <laughs> and that's time. another thing with time management is like, like you said, like throwing a lot on your plate. I do to-do lists. Yeah. So what I need to get done today. And then I'll have my priority list and I'll have my, you could say whatever list. Shout like, out to the no app. Yo. The notes app Yo. is clutch. Clutch. Have you said the little bubble? So when you're done, you just you know you can send no, it. No, I haven't done that. Yo. No, Yo. I haven't done that. You I'm need to put me on. You need to no, put you, you on. need to put me on. No, like literally, I like this is babe. This is like this is life right here. Like my phone is like my number one tool. It's true, yeah. It's, I'm pretty sure it's everybody's, like, number one business tool. Like, your phone, yes. especially with social media, free I mean, marketing. Yeah, what? I would have been nothing about my phone. Bruh. I remember I used to do, when I used to work at this place, like, this lady used to pay so much money for marketing. Now we got we got it out the palm of our hands. Like, that's why, like, when I first started this business, I didn't know much. And then I see, like, all these businesses booming. And I'm, and I'm sure if it wasn't for social media. It wouldn't. Oh, no. It would have well, Promo was expensive back then. Absolutely. Radio. Radio was expensive. Um, I remember even the email blasters. Yeah, Those yo. email blasters thing. Yes. They used to call they used to go for money. Pa um my sister opened a spa once. Paper ads. Or like like a, to put in a special inside the Sunday paper was money. Yes, yes. That cost a lot of money. So anything that involved marketing, it just it was so much money. So if you can do excuse me, your own marketing on your own, yo. Yeah. Do it up. It, it, like low key, now that I'm now that we, we we stepped into that, I kind of feel bad for the people that had to transition to the new way of marketing. Like those people that just been there me. forty years. So they're like, you know, yeah. And it's like, me. it's like, oh, how do you do this? Oh, this is new. Um, you know what's crazy? <laughs> A lot of people ask me for my old old work. I don't have pictures. I don't have a lot of pictures, right? Yeah. Because it was like. That really didn't exist. Like showcasing your work, like online, wasn't like a thing. Uh, not even taking pictures of your own food, nothing. Like no, that. no, no, <laughs> absolutely not. And like that for me was a weird transition because since it's all work, and like I said, like I'm always on the go. I don't sometimes I don't take pictures of my work, and that's because of the transition. Like when people ask me, oh, like how long you been doing this? I'm like I tell them the years, and like oh, you have any pictures? That'd be cool to see. And I'm like, yeah. most of my business was word of mouth. Well, I, I, I oh, I know this girl. I, know, I was like, oh, I know this girl. And then, like, their cousin will tell their cousin, and their cousin will tell their sister, and then their sister will tell their other cousin. So it just kind of, like, bloomed like that. Yeah. But that, you know, for people who are starting out businesses, like, yo, milk, whatever you can from social media. Word. The tools are there. You just need to put in the work. All right, well, Carla, thanks for coming in. Anytime. Yo, the love's there. <laughs> I usually give dabs to people, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my nigga. <laughs> oh, hell no. What's up? On L views. That's it, Carter. We good. Yay. Yeah, it was nice fun. Got it out there. Wow, you're amazing.